This episode is brought to you in part by Chickens. Chickens, the inspiration behind Sabayon's logo. Hello YouTube, welcome to a Linux review where today we're looking at, well, a unique distribution. Why is it unique? Well, it's one of the few that's actually based off Gentoo, and uh, to be quite frank, it is intended to be an out-of-the-box experience and fully loaded, as in big time. So it tends to have a lot of stuff that you probably won't even use, but hey, at least it's there. Another good thing about that is, well, dependencies aren't really a big deal because they pretty much packed everything, but it still could happen. But at least they got their package manager ready for that, so, you know, you won't go out of the rain for too long. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. So to begin with, this is the default desktop you're getting with the background and the, the color scheme. It's powered by KDE Frameworks 5, and I wonder why at this time. <laughs> uh, it has wireless support for my wireless device, but I'm not going to go on the internet. Uh, simply because my machine lacks a lot of resources and the graphics card, oh dear god, it is disgusting. The problem is, it also comes in with uh, NVIDIA drivers, which is all installed and everything, but it keeps it bleeding edge, and unfortunately, my uh, graphics card is not supported by the newer drivers, so this happens. It's super sl It Look, just take a look. I'm clicking on it, and then there's just that extra time it takes to get there, but in the most time, it's sort of usable anyways. But that's not uh, any, all the Linux distributions, it's not their fault, it's the vendor's fault. But I think uh, they should include, uh, like uh, when you get a newer graphics card, it's not support, uh, the, uh, the other cards that are not supported should be in there so it won't update. And then turn into, well, turn your desktop into a non-GUI desktop and you have to like freaking fix it. And that could be something that's worth fixing, but once again... It's not the distribution's fault, it's mostly the driver manufacturer's fault. But, yet again, there's a bit of throwing the ball. Anyways. So anyways, enough going off topic. Let's go ahead and uh, get to the menu. So these are the default favorite. And of course, it comes in with Google Chrome, pre-installed. Going in your applications, we have some development software. Well, only one. In the education department, you get math and science. Uh, games, you're loaded. It even comes with Steam. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> and there is a lot of it. And some go some games can be good. Some games are both. They're like, bleh. But at least it comes with a nice variety, and you can always add more from the package manager, which we will see later. In the graphics, well, that's all you get, really. Internet, yep, you even have SSH ad. It's pretty loaded. Multimedia, you get Clementine Music Player, K3B, Disk Burner, uh, what's that? Cody Media Center, I'm not gonna even think about it. And even VLC for Media Player. So, you get the basics. Usually there would be much more, but now I think they've slimmed it down a bit more. They've like toned it off. Office, LibreOffice, typical. Sabayon is an added sub-menu from the distribution itself, so it gets you all the download locations and all the documentation you need. So like this, you'll be able to, you know, get going. You know, get going. Settings, we get... Oh, not that much. I was just thinking about much more, but okay. We even have the Rego application browser, which is probably one of the package managers. However, I've seen another one. System. We even have the Cups web interface. Look, Rego's back in. Uh, we have Kinfo Center, all the good stuff. And there you go. And let's not forget utilities. 
which gives you all these good all these goodies. Okay, well, besides the Sabion submenu, this is the package manager we're going to be growing at. So here's the package manager, the Rego application manager. And if first things first, it tells me the list of available, uh, yeah, available applications is old. Update now. It says yes, why not, or no thanks. I'll choose no thanks because I have no wireless. So yeah, it seems to be a little bit more like kind of a customer base interface. You know, having like yes why not or grab a cup of coffee while we update and all that stuff so you get pretty much um, a very special application manager and that's something that Sabion always had for quite some time now so we're, I'm getting used to it it's a little special but anyways let's maximize this so we got accessibility development all this stuff you can pause the you can pause any time but we got all these goodies we even have extra desktop environments which actually seem to be pre-installed beside gnome i believe but anyways we can go and view and then oh wow nothing found for in category oh okay and hitting this will give you all these options Optimize download speed, update repositories, show installed application, available kernels, show available long term stable kernels, uh, configuration, fi update, uh, file update, repository management, clean entropy web service session, all that stuff. Um, let's see. Can we do anything without acting? That's another little problem. Their package manager is not the best. But let's see here. Oh, maybe I get it. Ah, that was it. All it needed was a repository update. I get it. Okay, so make sure you update your repositories. Oh, there are 306 updates. What to do? Update, show, ignore, SRSLY, or seriously ignore. As if we're like as if it's like annoying or two notices from the repositories let me see stop annoying me or close I can understand that you know it's oh how can I say that I can understand you're trying to be uh, you know Sabion's trying to be you know way up there and you make you know stand out of all the other distributions I mean who wouldn't, but stop annoying me wouldn't be something I'd put seriously or seriously ignore. Uh, it would be more like, uh, be more like uh, ignore forever, or instead of stop annoying me, it's just saying, I don't know, close and don't remind me or something. Stop annoying me and seriously ignore sounds more like, uh, I don't know, it's my take. If you like it, that you like it. But sometimes for me it's just... So anyways, I'm going to close this. I'm going to ignore. Anyways, the only reason being is because, well, I don't keep distributions that long in, on, <laughs> on my machine. So anyways, we got uh, all these nice features here see the available kernels so this actually shows you only the kernels or only this or specifics now let's go application groups now it'll come we'll come back to this let's go check out games view and as you can see here there's a lot of categories going on so now you have to go and figure out what you want but of course, you can always go ahead and uh, type kpat, for example, and you should get kpatience. Hit enter, see what happens. So, it also has that search feature, which is always a big, a big, big thing. So, so that's basically it for the uh, Rego package manager. Uh, it's unique, and it's once you get once you get uh, used to it, it's easy to use. Like seriously, it's easy to use. But now, let's get back to reality. I have one gig on this machine. I only have 58 megs of RAM free, more or less. 
and 648 or 647 megs of RAM are used and this is a vanilla installation I didn't do anything else and uh, let's put it this way uh, that's a lot of memory so if you're thinking about loading this into a um, an, well an old machine forget it on a newer machine actually you could go away get away with it especially when it constantly updates so yeah uh, the choice is yours would I recommend using Sabayon well if you're okay with the emerge functionality uh, the emerge functionality which is uh, let's see if I can find it oops emerge if you can also think about if you can if you can get accustomed to that when it comes to debugging or uh, you know getting your system to actually start X again you'll have to start to think about uh, knowing emerge a bit but other than that uh, if you can get accustomed to that, um, Sabion's a pretty strong build. Uh, there's been stories that older builds were really cluster fucked with uh, bloatware, and there was a lot of negative uh, uh, feedback. But the latest version, uh, you know, uh, pretty okay, pretty bloody okay. So yeah, would I recommend it? Well, the choice is yours. So there we have it, this is Sabayon 16.05, and really, it's, you know, despite my system specs being a little on the low side, it actually tries to do its best to work properly. Uh, my drivers that were used were the Mesa MESA graphics uh, drivers, because, well, the NVIDIA drivers stopped supporting it, and... Uh, now nah, I've actually uh, digged in uh, Rego, and uh, there's the NVIDIA drivers 304 and 358. I don't know if these conflicts with each, with each other, or maybe they have a fallback, but one way or another, I can't get the bloody thing to start with NVIDIA. So maybe it was an older graphics driver build. Anyways, so if you have any questions, comments, anything I've overlooked or not looked at, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And until next time... Take care.